What's up, everybody? This is Tanner from TamanBaseballFan.com. Uh, I just made the biggest purchase of my uh, quote unquote collecting career here, guys. Um, I'll talk about this here as I show you, but uh, <laughs> the, uh, the previous owner just dropped these uh, off. Uh, it was about midnight. Now it's about two in the morning. I've been going through some things and you know, just enjoying everything. Everything that you see here, every single piece is of Gary Carter. Um, to give you an idea a little bit about a uh, quick uh, rundown of Gary Carter, he is uh, seen by pretty much everybody as a top 10 catcher of all time. Um, some actually, some lists uh, have him as number two. His war is second all time for catchers and on many lists he's just behind Johnny Bench. So I wanted to go through some of these things. This is <laughs> this is 30 years of hardcore super collecting. And uh, everything that you see here has been meticulously cataloged uh, by the previous owner. I'm not sure if he wants his name out there, so I'm not gonna say that just yet. Um, but I do wanna go through a few things here. So first of all, this is the card collection right here. And I'll go through some things here just quickly. So first of all, I guess you can go through a couple of the booklets. Um, there's, by the way, about, and that's one of one. Uh, that's a real nice one there too. Um, this is one of five. This has got Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, um, obviously Gary Carter and David Wright. Um, you have a beautiful bat barrel with the nameplate or the signature burned in rather. Um, this is like a grail piece here. I think it's pop one. Um, I don't think there's any others that are graded out there. And uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, there's about like 550 autographs of Gary Carter in here. I'll go through some of the other cards, but I've been itching to show this. This is amazing. So first of all, you know I'm a big Conseco guy. Um, I love cut check cards. He doesn't have any cut check autos, uh, Gary Carter does, because he passed away about 10 years ago. Uh, that's really kind of the only way that they can get his signature on cards. All of these are booklets with cut check signatures and relics, whether it's jerseys, patches, bats. It is a very, very impressive, like it's the most impressive booklet run I've ever seen in my whole life. Very cool, very cool stuff. Um, I think they're numbered from oh to fifty all the way down to five or twenty five down to five, something like that. Um, I mean, there's like over eighty of them, over eighty different. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Um, I'll thumb through a few of these here. Uh, that way you can kind of get an idea of what's in here. So nice little bat barrel piece there. And a lot of different types of autographs and jerseys and all that. That's a sharp card. Um, it's fun going through these also, by the way, guys, like because uh, I've not, um, you know, really been paying too terribly much attention to other players' cards um, other than Kinseiko. And a lot of these cards I've never seen before, like the design, but a lot of them I have uh, because uh, Jose was in them. And, uh, you know, it's fun seeing another player um, grace these same type of cards. And so, you know, like I said, there's 550 or so autographs and it's just, uh, I mean, it's just truly amazing, truly amazing. Autograph, 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 autograph. Really cool stuff. Um, just watched uh, the 30 for 30 uh, uh, about the 1986 Mets the other night in anticipation of picking up this this uh, collection. Yeah, incredible watch, by the way, guys. Like, definitely take a look. So, love triple threads. There's a lot of triple threads in there. What is that? Some Hall of Fame thing. 
Yeah, you know, like I said, lots of autographs, jerseys, patches, relics. Um, I mean, just such a such a neat collection. Um, here's some prototypes as well that are big deal. Quite a big deal. The relics. It's a rather thick card. I obviously haven't gone through these. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't even really know what I'm kind of looking at at this point here. Uh, so it's been kind of fun to to really see uh, these for the first time. There's a button card, baseball autograph, dual autograph of Eddie Murray and Gary Carter, cut check signature, uh, a couple baseball signatures as well. I mean, just it's uh, it's amazing. Like there's a 1975 SSPC Gem Mint 10 PSA rookie, which is just unbelievable. Like there's also some like uh, the prototypes, like the 82 uh, Tops Blacklist, the 85 Minis. Uh, just <laughs> I mean, it's it's insane. It's insane, and they, it was so. This collection was so maintained so meticulously. Everything is sleeved um, and then bagged or whatever. So uh, let's get away from the cards though. This, by the way, has like, I think four posters. The four posters, I, I should have probably gotten them out to show, show but like uh, they were actually um, uh, in uh, on display in the New York City subway system in 1986 during their World Series run. And they're like four by six feet or something like that. I mean, they're huge, but they're highly sought after too. Like a lot of people are after this uh, because they really just kind of catch the essence um, of that team. Uh, so here's a couple of Gary Carter high school yearbooks, believe it or not. Bunch of other publications. Some of them are rare, some are not. There's signatures throughout as well which is cool this is an interesting piece diet pepsi has gary carter tom hankey roberto alomar and king griffey jr i don't know what year this is but it's got to be an early thing and it looks like it's uh from canada so really cool there um, a lot of oversized cards as well we have like this PSA DNA Gem Mint 10 Gary Carter Hall of Fame um, I want to show this also this is <laughs> guys this is really amazing over here there's a lot of really cool things over here so this is an uncut sheet of 1975 tops and it is in beautiful condition there's the Gary Carter rookie um, I think there's also, let's see here, I feel like, who else, there's some other big names, I mean obviously like you have Hank Aaron up there, and Harmon Killebrew, just a really, really cool piece, if there was ever to have, uh, if you ever have like a, uh, an uncut sheet of cards, 75 tops is it, because of all the colors. Um, this right here. I wasn't able to fully uh, pull it up, but this actually hung in Shea Stadium. Um, it is seven feet tall, and it's got like MLB authentication over there. It's massive, the T-ball set. But anyways, this is r a really cool piece. Really, really cool piece. Uh, these, let's start with these. These are some game-used uh, signed pants uh, of Gary Carter when he played for the Dodgers. These are some game used pants of Gary Carter's first uh, road game used pants, which is really cool. We have various Stormall gloves that were endorsed by Carter, a um, bunch of plates, and all kinds of other things in there. Starting lineup, some of them are signed. Like there's one that's signed. Maybe it's just one signed. 
Um, and one of them is like really rare as well. I don't recall which one, but we also have this E4 glass. I mean, there's a bunch of this stuff in there too. So boatload of uh, signed uh, Gary Carter uh, baseballs, including like a 1980 all-star game. Got some some framed pieces that have signatures and that sort of thing. Um, let's see what else. All kinds of bobbleheads here, and there's a lot of these that are like really rare as well. And I, <laughs> there's no way I can get through all of this stuff, you guys. Like, <laughs> there's there's a boatload of things here. Oh, here's here's a really neat piece. First of all, this is a mini helmet inscribed. Hall of Fame 2003, which is neat, but this right here, this is a very unique piece. This is a one of one by absolute memorabilia. It's actually, I think it's, uh, I think it's serial numbered somewhere in there, one of one. I maybe it's over to the right, but anyways, that's a game used jersey number. I think the the actual number itself was uh, from the front of a Gary Carter game used jersey, and this entire thing is the one of one, which is such a really cool, unique piece. It's a, definitely a conversation piece. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to point out. I mean, I know there's like a boatload of things I'm missing out on. Like there's so much stuff. Uh, so I'll go back here to the cards for a little bit here. Um, let me hop over these. I'm just having a really difficult time figuring out where to start. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, so like you just, as you keep going through, you just see like amazing cards. Like here's one, Carlton Fisk, Gary Carter, Johnny Bench, Mike Piazza, um, and other single signature, single signature, signature. I mean, it, it's almost like going through a parallel of my Conseco Super Collection when I had it. Um, that's kind of what it feels like uh, in terms of quantity and quality, really. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of probably higher end one of ones and that kind of thing. But uh, uh, this is <laughs> this is nothing short of impressive. I mean, it's that's just incredible. Um, you could tell that uh, uh, the previous collector's heart and soul was put into this and that's what's so exciting. That's what's so amazing about this. I mean, just autograph after autograph. I mean, it's <laughs> it's incredible. I think this is like the most complete uh, Gary Carter collection. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before or not. Um, but if I'm understanding uh, everything correctly, I think that's right. That's a, let's see, that's one of, one of five. You'll see one of ones pop up from time to time in this, in these boxes. And I mean, just really amazing, really amazing cards like through and through. I mean, just, <laughs> oh, that's a cool patch right there. Dual auto. Uh, I mean, I could literally go on and on and on on this one. I mean, there's just so many phenomenal cards. Triple threads kind of caught my eye, so I like those. Of course, there's only a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's cool, too. Um, I mean, I don't even really know where to, <laughs> where to dive in next, you know? It's really kind of a... Uh, eye popping to see everything in here. It truly is. Truly, truly is. Um, there's uh, some recollection cards that are low numbered. There's other prototypes like uh, the Aqueous. And uh, I mean, just there's printing plates as well. Um, I mean, just, this is, <laughs> this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'll take a look at these real quick here. Yeah, 
you see just like autograph, autograph, autograph. I mean, man. Those aren't. Then you get another signed one, signed, signed with jersey. A couple other jerseys. I mean, just amazing. Anyway, so uh, I guess I'll stop that there. I mean, ultimately, this stuff's going to go. Um, whether that means trades or selling and selling one on at a time or um, <laughs> or selling as a lot, I just don't know. Um, I really don't know. I think I also, oh, look at this. I also uh, missed out on a box. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I, I tripped over this box. And uh, <laughs> sure enough, I mean, there's just a bunch of uh, really cool cards in here as well. Um, try to pull out a few of the autographs just to kind of show. 2003 schedule, I guess. all game used there's a oh that's a cool fielding glove and signature card signature Carlton Fisk Gary Carter and Kurt Gibson boo Kurt Gibson <laughs> that's inscribed 1986 uh, inscribed Mets champs Another one, another one. I mean, just so many autographs. It's incredible. Oops. A couple others. Wow. That's incredible. All right. Well. I mean, I guess I'll just stop there. There's just so many, so many amazing cards. Um, I mean, I could literally go for hours. Uh, oh, there's the, uh, uh, let's see, it looks like that's a, a buyback of some sort, which is really cool. It's autographed on card. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, <laughs> like I said, I'll stop there. I mean, there's a boatload of things and I'm still kind of, uh, this is, hasn't sunk in yet completely, but, uh, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, so anyways, uh, I guess if you are interested in picking up anything in particular or, uh, you know, shoot, I don't know, or pick up the whole thing. I, I don't know. Uh, let me know. Uh, got a bunch of stuff here and I'm open to trades as well. So anyways, thanks guys for watching. Hope you all have a great day.